be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna to be going over the quickest way to make dark samples in Logic Pro 10. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up, all right? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first thing first, you're gonna talk about the different elements that will probably be in a dark sample. Number one, I would say it's uh, gonna be a pluck or a harp sound. Um, and then we're gonna basically create like an arpeggiated melody with that and flip it and stuff like that. So that's gonna be in there some type of lower sounding um, instrument or a bass sound and maybe like a choir to add a little bit of accent. So let's go ahead and jump into the quickest way to do this. For this arpeggiated like plug sound, I'm just gonna push the letter P and then after that we're gonna scroll over here to the step sequencer. And uh, basically as you can see, um, these are all software instrument tracks. Once you open this up with the step sequencer and if it's in a melody track, it's gonna open up basically a whole octave of notes to choose from in order to make melodies, you know what I mean? And you can come over here to the top where you see your BPM and change the actual key that you're in over here. So like say if I wanna do it in D minor or let's say B minor, right? As you can see here, the notes all of a sudden changed right there. All right, second thing here is to go over here just instead of doing 16 steps, go to like 32 that will at least give you a four bar loop to work with so from here is just about getting creative in this you know tapping some notes in and making sure it makes sense so you could throw some chords in and you can like variation throw variations of like arpeggiation and you know different things like that let's let's try it out All right, bet. So after you find something that works from there, um, you want to come over here. You can mess around also with the BPM. I'm going to just like turn it down a little bit. All right, cool. So once we got our basic melody started, what you want to do is now come up with a bass line. And so for there, you could just push P and you could just draw this bass line in um, because you're going to be doing whole notes. So let's just start like say at C.
cool. So after you have a bass line and you have like a basic like arpeggiator or some type of pluck sound um, melody, basically I would suggest doing some type of choir. And the cool thing with the choir is basically you can just take this uh, same pattern that you did for the bass and just hold down option and drag that down. And the choir is really optional, but at this point, let's just say that you don't want the choir in, right? You can just take this and just drag all three of those over here to the gray if you wanted to. Well, first off, you have to, my bad, bounce in place. First thing first, bounce in place. What that's going to do is create a new um, sample from all of the uh, different uh, instruments you did. Now I can take this and put it over here to the quick sampler, right? And now this is where the magic can happen. I can come over here, do follow tempo. I can reverse it. Um, you know, I can put filters on it, right? Um, I could even take over here and do some stuff with the pitch, you know? Now let's see what we got. Bet. So that was pretty much the whole process here. Just to go over it again, you're going to come up with a basic melody. I would suggest using either like a, a harp or a pluck type sound. You're going to draw, um, use the piano roll, or not the piano roll, but the step sequencer to tap those in. Then you're going to come up with a basic bass line. Okay, that's the second step. And from there, you're going to mimic that bass line with a choir sound. After you do that, you're going to highlight everything, right click, and then you're going to want to bounce it in place, okay? And then what that's going to do is going to create a solid um, onesie, okay, or one foul that you could use as the actual uh, dark sample. From here, you'll drag it over to this gray area, and it's going to create a brand new track that's going to have the quick, your new dark sample in the quick sampler. And from here, you can reverse it or keep it going forward. And you can, you know, add filters, pitches, different things like that. And it tends to just sound pretty dope, especially when you reverse whatever you did. It tends to sound pretty, pretty lit. So make sure you get subscribed to my channel for more dope videos like this. Also go to my site, bemakingbasics.com. We have courses that have like, each course probably has like an hour to five hours of content in each one. You know what I'm saying? We also have different melody kits that you could use, which are really free and drum kits that you could download on our site. Just go to the site, beatmakingbasics.com. And if anything else, just go ahead and subscribe, like I said before. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.